here with SLC. It is Monday the 22nd? Maybe? 23rd? I don't even know anymore. Who knows? It was a great weekend. Got myself a new pup this weekend. So I think we'll have to hear her pop up some pictures of her. She's adorable. Her name is Luna. She's a little Australian shepherd, four months old. Um, so I had a lot of fun cleaning up pee all weekend. Of course, we're working on it. But so we are here today with some crafts that you can do with the children now that they are home for a while. Um, we've kind of picked out some stuff that you may have just laying around the house, maybe some things that you don't, but hopefully, you know, you guys are crafty so you can kind of make do with some of uh, what you've got. Find what you've got. These are just some fun things. So we've got three little things here that we're going to be making. Um, we first got an earbud taco. So everybody's carrying around their earbuds. If they're not wireless, you know, I guess even if they are wireless, Bluetooth, that's the thing. Um, so we're going to be making an earbud taco. And then we've got some lace tassels. So if you've got lace at home from something, you can make some lace. If you've got just some leather scraps laying around, you can cut some strings. Um, we're going to make a little tassel. Um, could rob some hardware off of an old bag or something to, to, to make that. And then, you know, we just got like a couple beads and charms to put on it. And then lastly, we will be making a leather bow tie and with a fun transformation at the end. So let's get started here. We'll start with our little earbud tacos. So just got a piece of scrap oil tan. You know, if you've got something that's kind of thin and flexible at home, maybe not super, super thin, um, maybe something, I think this is gonna be in the five to six ounce range, if you know what that means. So basically you just need to make a circle. So somewhere in the area of like three and a half inch is what you want, but what I used was my coffee mug. So we're gonna lay it down on here on our little piece of leather. So whatever circle you have, you could even do something fun. You could do a triangle of some sort or a diamond, I guess, because you would need both sides. So we're just gonna trace it out around our little cup here. Okay, so now we've got our circle, some scissors. Um, if you're old enough, you can have them use a utility knife, but scissors are pretty easy and get it done. So we'll just cut the circle right out. Perfect. Okay, we got this one cut out. And then I'm just gonna do a fun one. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this stripey leather here and I'm gonna do another one. So we'll just put our cup back down here. Let's see if this pin marks. It sure does, look at that. Round we go. Okay, got this one. So we'll take, we'll just get this one cut out here real fast. We hope everybody at home is doing okay. Hope you survived the weekend all right. Um, hope you're finding some stuff to keep you busy, keep you sane. It is springtime. It has been raining constantly here for just weeks now. I feel like I live in the Pacific Northwest, but I don't. And I'm tired. I want some sunshine. I miss my son. Um, but we'll make it through. Eventually it will come. So let's see here. Okay, so we've got our little circles. So we've got two options. We have got what is called a button stud. So it's this little button top, kind of looks like a doorknob, little guy. And then he's got a screw. So how you use him is you're gonna punch a hole in your leather and then you'll put him through it. So I've got my handy dandy rotary punch. 
Um, guys at home, a lot of people will have these. If, if you have, you know, something like this, grandpa, a lot of times will have one in his little tool chest somewhere. Um, but otherwise just find a way to punch a hole in your, in your leather. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna fold our little taco in half, and then we're basically just gonna mark maybe like three eighths of an inch, a little over a quarter inch from the top. So stick it right there. That looks pretty good. So we're gonna punch our hole. There it goes. And then, so this is gonna go to the inside, okay? So we're gonna screw our little button stud down on the inside. Perfect, so he's secure. We're gonna fold our little guy back up and we're gonna figure out where he's coming through. So it looks like he's coming through right about here. And for a button stud, what you need to do is you wanna punch a hole that's a little bit smaller than the, the size of the head. In fact, really, if it's the size of the post, that's perfect. So let's see, what do we got? That one seems about right. We'll use this hole. It's a little big, it's okay. Really, you wanna shoot a little bit smaller than a little bit bigger, um, just because we're gonna put a slot in it and it will stretch around the button. So punch that hole. This just doesn't wanna punch all the way through for me. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little knife. So parents, you might need to do this for your kids. And we're just gonna cut a little slot. Not very long. In fact, really, it's better to cut into the hole so you don't cut it too far. So cut a little slot, like a little eighth of an inch, a little bit more than an eighth of an inch. So it opens up like that. And then it'll fold around. And it just pops right on there. That is an earbud taco. Here, let's see here. So we'll pretend that these are a pair of earbuds and we will fold them up like so, like everybody in the whole world does. They lay in there. Look at that, earbud taco. Now, if you do not have a button stud, but you might happen to have a button laying around. I picked one with just two pretty large holes, just I'm gonna use wax thread. Um, so got ourselves a little button. We're gonna use a button instead. So what we're gonna do is we're going to find the smallest hole, which is that guy. And then we're gonna lay our button on our circle. Let's see here, this one's got lines in it. So I want the lines to all be, do I want them that way or do I want them this way? You know, I think I like them up. We're gonna go up. So we're gonna put our button right here and then mark our holes. Okay, we're gonna punch those two holes. Okay, and this is just real fast. There's my needle and then I've got white thread. And then we're just gonna sew on our button. Just like you would fix up your pants. But what we wanna do is we wanna leave it a little bit loose. So let's see, we'll come up through the back. those off. So you want to leave it a little bit loose so that whenever you go to push the button through to the, um, you, when you go to close it, you've got a little bit of leeway there. I'm using pretty darn heavy thread um, it's a wax thread. So if you're at home and you're using like sewing machine thread, you might go through it a couple more times than what I'm doing because your thread is probably gonna be a lot smaller. Okay, got a little button there. It's not super tight, pretty good. 
let's see here, cut this off. And then we'll tie her up. Perfect. Trim that guy off. And then on this other side here, we're gonna figure out where we're folding. It looks basically right in the middle of these two lines. So then we're just gonna cut a slot. Big enough for that button to go through. Let's see what we got. May have needed to be a little bit bigger, but there we go. And a earbud taco. So those are our two little earbud tacos this afternoon. So quick and easy, uh, lots of fun. Everybody's got a pair of earbuds somewhere. So this is a good way to keep track of them, keep it from getting tangled up with each other. Um, I know at home, I just have like this charging station for our Bluetooth ones and there's like four or five pairs and it always becomes a big mess. So this is a great way to kind of organize that space or whenever you're ready to take them with you, just throw it in your bag and you've got them all secured. So that's project one for us. Next, we're gonna do some tassels. I'm gonna get a drink of coffee. So with our tassels, I have pulled lace is a thing a lot of people find at home. Um, I've got three different colors here. This is just a good old pig suede lace. Um, one of the ones that we carry, but any lace will do. Um, for, I have pulled about almost two yards. Let's see. Yep, just about two yards um, of gray lace here, but it's just not quite full enough for me. So I'm going to pull another two yards of purple and we will kind of make an extra full tassel. So let's see here. Let me get the same amount. There we go. So we will trim this off. Perfect. So basically this is super simple. We're gonna take our lace, make sure the ends are pretty similar, but we can trim later, but those come out just quite nice. And then we're just gonna start folding in half. Woo. It's a little tangly guys. So we'll fold it up once, get our ends, and then we'll fold it up again. Find all of our centers, make sure we're always in the center. And then one more time, just like that. Man, that's a full one. Okay, so keep your finger here in the middle because what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide our ends. Let's make sure we're all symmetrical here. We're gonna slide our ends through this swivel snap. So like I said before, it's okay if you don't have one laying around. I have so many old purses that I'm never gonna use again. Um, and the hardware on the handles are great little things that you can pull off before you throw them away. Um, if you are going to throw them away and not donate them. So you can take all of the hardware off of an old bag or just anything you got laying around, an old little wristlet that you're not using anymore um, to make a fun little tassel. So, or a lot of times you can buy them at Walmart or Michaels or any of your hobby craft stores like that. Anyways, so we've got this fun little color mishmash here going on. And then what we're gonna do, once we got everything laying nicely, is we're gonna wrap up this top. So I'm gonna take a little bit more purple. So you don't need that much, maybe 12, 14 inches or so. Trim that off. I am using, well, let's see here. I've got a lacy needle because whenever we're done, we're gonna pull this lace down through the back of the inside and it kind of helps if you've got a lacy needle. Um, let's see here. We want to start off by making a slip knot. So we're going to come around the lace, come around like this. And then you basically tie, oh, that's not very visible. 
you know, tie one of the pieces of lace a knot around the other piece of lace. So you see how this one still slides in and out? There, that's what we want. So with a little tiny tail, you pull that open, make sure your slip knot's nice and tight. And then we're going to pass all of our laces. I feel like I'm a little bit lopsided, but it'll be kind. Pass all of our laces through the slip knot. We can open it up a little bit, that'd be fine. There we go. And then we're gonna cinch up that slip knot around the top of those laces. Pull everything nice and secure. There we go. So at this point, we're just gonna start wrapping. So you've got your little tail tucked there and then we're just gonna wrap. Tail wants to slide out on us. Make it all nice and neat. And then you can wrap as many times as you'd like. I'm gonna just go over them one more time. Sure it's tight. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the end of our lace, let me see here, I gotta snip a little angle here on the end. coffee jitters on. There we go. Pull it through. Make sure your lace is tight. Okay. And then we're just going to take this lace and we're going to slide them down. Oops. <laughs> Underneath these. Pull it out the bottom. Perfect. You think you'd be able to take like a crocheting thing and stick it up through there and wrap the lace around it and pull it back out? Oh, there? yeah, a crocheting needle. You might, you're one of those little tiny ones. Yeah, okay. stick it up in there and then pull your lace down. Yeah, you give that a try if you don't have a needle at home. So, okay, so we've got that nice and tight. So now what we want to do is we want to open up all these ends. So you could just take it and cut them all off and open them up. But you know what? I don't really mind that some of them are longer than others. So I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to open up all of the loops. Make sure you just get them all. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. She's got some curly hair. Perfect. Let's see. We'll just kind of trim some of the long ones up. There we go. So now we've got a little tassel. And then what I did is I just went and I found some charms laying around the bead side. So I'm gonna take a couple of my strands here. I'm gonna put some beads on them. So I just got some large hole beads. But depending on the size of your lace, any beads will work. Pull it up. Ooh, let's see if I can get this through two. No, that's not the thing. In any case, you put the beads on it, it'll be great. You got yourself a little, a little tassel to accessorize your purse or your backpack. Um, you know, you can hang it in your rear view mirror. Have a good time with that. Lose your beats. Anyways, okay. you should probably secure those. Let me get that. Okay. So now we've got our tassel all done. We move on to project number four. Number three. There's two. I don't know, guys. It's Monday. Okay. So project number four is our bow tie. So three, project number three is our bow tie. I don't know why I want to do four projects today, but apparently I really do. So we, 
We just found a little pattern on the good old website, just the interwebs. Tony was good enough to Google something for us. Um, so there's a bunch of different styles out there. Find the one that you like, find the one that you wanna go with. Um, this is just the one that we chose. So basically what we're gonna do here is trace out our pattern onto this leather. So first you have to cut them out. Okay guys, so I got my patterns all cut out of for my template for my bow tie. So we've got this and then we've got a little strap guy right here. He's real small. So I'm going to now cut these out of leather. Um, I've got two different leathers here that I'm going to make. So this is my front part and it will fold around like this, like that. So I'm gonna do him out of this fun silver leather. And then my back portion, this guy, which goes behind, is gonna be this firmer um, black metallic leather. So now I'm gonna cut those out. At least Larissa has a sharp knife. <laughs> the bigger problem is going to be the silver on silver. <laughs> okay, that all cut out. inside my line this time. And your elbow. <laughs> yeah. You're good. Okay. Just kidding. Okay, so we've got all of our parts cut out. We've got our little back piece, hmm, our bow piece, our back piece, and then our little tie. So I left the tie a little bit longer than the example just to make sure that I've got room to wrap around um, all the pieces of leather. Um, so basically this guy is a super simple. We're gonna take our little piece here and we've got some glue. And all you've gotta do is Put a little glue. This is a lot of glue. Okay, so we're just gonna put a little glue here and a little glue here. And since we're using contact cement, we should put a little glue here so that it sticks all nice and lovely like it should. Okay, so we've got these. <laughs> And if you don't have glue, you can use tape if you wanted to, um, or you could sew it up. Um, so basically, if you don't have glue, you can fold your sides over. Um, you could use a little bit of tape in there if you've got it. And then once you put your back on, you can punch a hole in each side and then you can just run a stitch around in a circle through the holes and it'll hold everything together for you. So we're gonna fold this guy in and tap, tap. And then we're gonna fold this guy over. Woo, oh, my glue isn't done yet. It's a little slippery still, but it'll work. It'll tack up here in a minute. And we got that. So I'm assuming that's the back of it because it's not pretty. Oh, well, maybe, yeah, it should go like that. Yeah, that's what it should do. So, and then this guy goes in front and even for me, my contact cement isn't going to hold these two pieces together because I don't have anything porous enough for it to soak into. Um, if you were using maybe like a super glue, you could put a little dot on there because that would hold. But since I don't have anything that's going to hold, we're basically just going to lay these on top. And then I'm going to take my little centerpiece that I've cut out. And if you want, you can turn this into a key ring 
or you could put some elastic around the back and you could actually make just like a little bow tie that you were gonna wear. Um, you could glue it onto a headband if you wanted, if you wanted to make a little leather bow tie and put it on like a little plastic headband or something, you could totally do that too. For me, I'm gonna make it into a key ring. So I've got my little ring here and I'm just going to, well, that's just not long enough. We need a longer section, y'all. We're just gonna cut a new one. Yeah, this middle section might vary just depending on what exactly you're doing with it. I think my key ring might be a little bit bigger than what this specific design was intended for. So we're gonna just make this as long as I need it. That should, that should do it. We'll take that. Just like here. Put my key ring back on. Fold it up onto the back. Okay, so we're going to glue this part here. here and put some glue on this side. Technically we should put some glue on the other side but we'll just have to wait on that. And this reach should really let it tack up so it holds well. <laughs> okay. Gluing is all about patience guys. It's all about patience. up and around right on there and we're gonna put a little bit more glue on this back side here um, and while we let that tack up just a little quick um, modification to this pattern is if you wanted to make this into a cute little mermaid tail all you would have to do instead of leaving this back section um, flat, you're gonna fold him in half. So here's my little paper pattern. You're just gonna fold that back section in half and then you're gonna take this guy and you're gonna cut, you're just gonna use one of these little bows. So you're gonna cut down him down the middle and then you're gonna fold your little bow in half. Okay, and then you just put these little pieces together and then you use your little tie for the middle there and you just tie it all together like that. So then you have a little fun mermaid tail and you can put your key ring up here um, or it can just be for fun. I don't really know. Yep, mermaid tail. So for us, I think we're just about tacky. So we're gonna, actually that's still just not very tacky. Patience. Okay. Pull that up nice and tight. Turn him over. And you've got yourself a bow tie, guys. How fun. Okay, so those are our three, three, not four, just three, fun little crafts that you can do with, with your kids while you're at home, while you're sticking this thing out. So be safe out there, have some fun, learn some things, and just uh, letting you know that tomorrow we will be doing a, another little video about how to, just kind of going over some sewing machine stuff. So looking, are we threading a machine? What are we doing? We don't know yet. We're gonna do something with a sewing machine. So tune in tomorrow and we'll have another fun little tidbit that um, Rusty will be hosting for you. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh. <laughs>